Hey guys, welcome back to more Skyrim Novice. Hopefully you're all doing very well. The last time we left off, we were trudging our way through the Labyrinthian to try and get the Staff of Malgus, and I believe we're getting there. We're getting closer each and every part, and I believe we're starting off in a bit of combat if the music is anything to go by. Hopefully not too overly difficult, but we shall have to see. Anyway, while we go and have a look at this, if you guys haven't already, be sure to hit the like and sub button, it would mean a lot to me if you could do that. We also have a Patreon in the description below as well, and they are destroying the shit. They are destroying the shit out of my rats. How dare they? How unbelievably dare they? What the hell is it anyway? Oh. Oh, it's a uh, Dragger White. Oh, he knows magic. Well, good for you, buddy. Funnily enough, I have the antidote to your ice magic bullshit. Just like in Pokemon. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, there are probably traps. Yeah, I remember this area being uh, trap ridden to all hell. Good thing we, I believe, disarmed uh, the vast uh, majority of them. Could be wrong. Might be alright. Oh, a Draugr. Is it another spectral Draugr or is it a real Draugr? What kind of Draugr we got here? Oh, spectral one. Put him down, put him down, put him down. Oh, what's up here? Anything secret? Oh yes, more of you. Oh, we got a lot more of you, and by a lot more I mean one. Ooh, spectral sword as well, Drainheart sword, ooh. I feel like that should be incorporeal. Uh, you know, I shouldn't really be able to pick that up, but you know what, though, food is food at the end of the day, we'll pick that up, absolutely. Vastly over encumbered, why am I not shocked? Uh, how are we looking anyway, I think? Just in case, we'll eat, uh, we'll eat a bit of meat, bit of pie, bit of cabbage. 307, are you joking? Not gonna lie, food does play an awful, an awful large part of me being over encumbered like that. But the vast, uh, I, I, I don't know, yeah, the, the vast majority, I, I would say, of my carry weight is probably food, then maybe books after that. I think ingredients would maybe come into it a bit. I mean, I have 18 blue mountain flowers. Why do I have 18 blue mountain flowers? Why do I feel the need to pick those up? It's not as if I brew potions. Come on now. Come on now. Car sakes. Why do I have them? What am I... Why, what, I mean, giants to... Oh, why did I eat that? Oh my god. Tell you what, we'll drop enough just to kind of get moving for the uh, time being. Do I know what you do? Okay, you help with my magic. I'm just going to eat the tusk. Why not, man? You know, if I ever decide to become an archer, we know that juniper berries can help. If I, you know, need to, you know, become a better orator, I know that uh, that flower can help. What about red mountain flower? Drain intelligence. And I know if I want to become an absolute dipshit, uh, the red mountain flower is, you know, it's the flower to get. I think snowberries will keep, though. I think that actually staves off cold. You can make, like, a drink with that. I could be wrong. Either way, though, uh, ow. Anything up here? Ooh, chest. What do we got here? Ooh, money. Money is good. Money is great. Skull. Bunch of crap. Right, let's get back onto the, uh, the right path, shall we? Which should be that away. God, those toes are big, though. I don't like it. I don't like it. So yeah, that way, right? Or can we go down here? Hang on. Oop. It's back here, perchance, if anything. Nothing? Alright. Also need to remember that we are technically alone. We told Callan to go wait for me at the wreck of the Brinehammer now. Knowing me, she is going to be waiting there a hell of a long time. Oop. Bye-bye, Magicka. Hello, Magicka. Thank God my Magicka comes back quick. Hello, what is that weapon in there? And look at the look at the shadow. I like that. We got four lockpicks. Can we get to it? A little bit more to the no. A little bit more to the left. Oh, there we go. All right then. Any traps? Anything that could kill me? This thing on a trigger. Ancient Nord honed great sword of scorching. I like how it's in the uh, coals, you know, it's a really, uh, it's a really cool uh, visual way to symbolize what it does. I like that. Oh wow, so yeah, you just have some gear in here that makes you incredibly resistant to fire while simultaneously inflicting fire damage. Now, if I was a bit of a pyromaniac with, uh, you know, 
with a penchant for uh, melee attacks, I would take that. I mean, look, you even got the... You even have an ebony tower shield. Look at that. Does it fit me? No. A weight of 16, though. That could fit. Is that a two-handed sword? It's a great sword, so yeah, I would say so. That would not go together with this. But I was saying, if I had, like, a, a companion that was, you know, a bit more tanky, a bit more melee-based, I would pick that up. But to be fair, the, the companion I kind of want to take maybe full-time or for the majority of this playthrough, I highly doubt they're going to be uh, heavy. I highly doubt they're even going to be mid. I think they're going to be light. They could even be another mage, perhaps, but it's probably going to end up being a light archer, if anything. So while this does look very cool, can we pick it up? Nope, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to grab it uh, naturally and move it. I mean, look at that, though. That does look really cool. We're going to drop that, though. Right, can we pick it up? Yeah. I mean, while I would like to take this because it looks so goddamn cool, I don't know if I can justify it. Unless I was to drop uh, quite a lot of what we currently have. And that's, uh, what, weight of five? I mean, these gauntlets, though, look really good. But then again, heavy at the end of the day. It could be something I could melt down, possibly, or... Christ, sell, just sell it. I don't need that coat. We're fine for money. Don't need that either. Or those. Uh, that's just value, don't need it. Obsidian Mage Gauntlets. With no enchantment, yeah, they do nothing for me. What are we wearing at the moment that replaced uh, that? Nothing, apparently. Okay, I don't know why I took that off. Did that take anything else that I owned off? Were we wearing, were we wearing another amulet down here? Do we have something for Magicka? I think we had this. We're wearing that, weren't we? Yeah, I need more Magicka. I don't need more health. We're fine when it comes to health. Like, I'm actually very happy in regards to health. I dropped something there. I don't know what it was. That was a misclick. Did I drop something important? The following told, yeah, we need that. Drop my goddamn cloak. What the wrong with me? Fall of Winter, put that back on. Because, you know, that cloak looks fucking banging. Want to keep it. So yeah, for those uh, maybe wanting me to take the shield, nah, sorry. Can't do it. Can't justify it to myself. More Magicka debuffs. Don't you love to see it, though? Or draining, in this case. Oh. Thankfully, they do not give me the old uh, vampirism, but look at that, a word of power. Let's go get the word of power. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. Okay, that's a dragger death, Lord. Ah, Christ. Okay, you know what? That's scaring the shit out of me. That's probably a reason for me to bring Stormy back in. Stormy, do your thing. Take him. Stormy, for the love of God, take him. Please. It's gonna... It's not gonna shout at me, thankfully. But I need you to do your ranged attack. There it is. You know what, man? That is a thing of beauty. There we go. My rats brought him down as well, or they distracted him. Good, good. Right, I'm gonna have Stormy in here for the time being. Now, can we get the word of power? No word of power. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder why. I mean, I would like to have it, but no? Okay. No word of power for me, then. Hmm. Okay. I mean, yeah, sure, I know we can't shout yet, but it would be nice to, at the very least, build up a bit of a backlog that we can call upon later. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Stormy, man, this might be one for you. Oh, shit, that is a gigantic bone golem, Death's Leviathan, level 70. I'm a little bit uh, off my mark with this, so we're gonna have to actually help out Stormy here, I think. Frost action knock on top of that, we can kill it. No, Stormy's dead. Oh, Jesus, Stormy is just flat out gone. Oh, no. Let's take out the Frost Hatch Knock and we'll take out the other minions. Thankfully, this one is not getting... Oh, he's getting through. Okay, that's fine. Stormy, come back. 
Stormy, use your ranged attack and fucking finish him off. Holy shit. Ah, okay, I don't think Stormy is aggroed yet. We'll just kind of pop him a bit. He's made out of, you know, dried fucking bones. You'd think fire would do a bit. He's kind of having a bit of trouble getting through. We just need Stormy to, uh... Do that ra really cool ranged attack. I mean, that'll be good. Ooh, hoo, hoo. There we go. That's what I want. Yeah, Stormy, keep going, man. Ah, shit, he is fully through. Right. We're just gonna slowly back up. And use, uh, you know, his size against him. Yeah, if we have to bring back in Stormy, we can, thankfully. Actually, it might be okay, though. He's going down. Yeah, there we go. Ragdoll to all hell. Hell yeah, that scared the shit out of me. Look at this guy. Where'd he... Where'd he come from? Take the Daedra heart. Scroll of... That's a scroll. Bone meal. Very high weight. No need. Oh my god. Did you... Did you bring him in, little boneling, with what appears to be a katana? Or a stick? Oh, you have a stick. That's fucking darling. Look at that. His little stick. Is it legit... Or it's like a big old bone? Ah, oh, bony, you're you're fucking adorable. Oh, okay, yeah, no, we know what that is. See, I came right from there. Holy shit! Maybe he was just living there, and he was the self uh, conjuration enemy, or there's a very powerful conjuration mage in here. I, I don't know. Oh shit! Oh, the fucking bone link. Thank you, Stormy. We stay together, no matter what. Agreed. I'll be right with you. Agreed. We all stay together. And uh, spoiler alert: they did not all stay together. Take that magic potion. Take the soul jam. Where are we in the map, by the way? How are we looking in regards uh, to that? And Staff of Magnus should be a little bit further down. All right. Wonder what kind of other weird kind of mini bosses are we going to run into now? It could be interesting. Oh, here we go. We might need a uh, good old uh, Stormy for this if he can kind of uh, teleport his way in. Might be useful. I'm probably going to want to. Am I going to want to kill them? I forget how this uh, runs. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit one. Enthralled wizard, yep, they can go. I think we may need for them. Gonna hit the other one. We're going to probably release him, I think. Yeah, I think it's better for me to cast it that way, though. I mean, two firebolts? I mean, come on. Two is always better than one, even if one is technically more powerful. I don't know, is that the better way to do it? Who knows? Morakai. I released you. Now, uh, do we talk or do we fight? Nope, we fight. Oh. Not a fan of that, man. She has Stormy in here. No, he's in here, alright. Ah, he knows that move too. Alright then. No, Morakai also has a Storm Golem of his own. Storm on Storm, huh? It's like two Kamehameha waves going at each other. Only, you know, more cool. Watch out. Ugh. Come on, Stormy, do your thing. Oh, we've been hit, we've been hit bad. Now we're dead, fuck. God damn it. Oh, what the hell killed me? Interesting, I don't know what killed me there. Okay, so Morakai can spawn in a Storm Golem of his own. We need to be very aware of that. Not good for me, man. Not good for me. Right. Gonna take out uh, you. All the way at the far end. Nice little double hit should finish you off. There we go. And same for you. Two quick hits. Alright, that brings out Morakai. Morakai, don't, uh, don't do the summon. That would, that would be great. I'd appreciate that. Storm, if you want to fucking hit him, feel free. I don't want to get hit by any bullshit here. 
They were hitting them. Ah, watch out. We're gonna have to like keep moving, maybe get a bit of elevation on my side. If at all possible. Yeah, try and get on his level a bit. Have a bit of a magical firefight with him. Hit him with fire, let the rats do their thing. Stormy, you wanna hit him? <laughs> nah, he's in cover. We just kinda let him bring in a Stormy of his own. There we go, that's what I want. That's what I want to see. And it's setting them either way, and it's actually draining of, of uh, Magicka, which is incredibly vital. That is incredibly vital, in fact. It might even behoove me to use uh, Sparks my own so he has no magic uh, to speak with. Uh, to speak of, even. That is the better way to do it. Because if he can't cast, he's impotent. He can't do anything. So I, th I think we might actually be okay. Yeah, just keep the magic kill away. And he can't do anything. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. The problem is, is when I myself run out of magicka. But thankfully, it's not something that lasts all that long. And of course, we have our rats uh, really, really helping me out. In fact, uh, he doesn't even know what to do. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right, he has that magicka coming back up. Bring that back down. Before he casts uh, something uh, dangerous. Ah, shit. Okay. Are we okay? Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Good stuff. I will take that stuff of Magnus. Thank you. Is uh, Morikai the mask? Yeah, it is. Right. We're gonna have a look at that mask. Maybe that can help me. The Cloak of Morikai. What are we gonna do? Dress like him now? Are we gonna take that? Yeah, we'll take that. The ring and the amulet of Morikai. And his armor set. Apparently. Alright then. We got the whole lot. Now we're gonna have a look at it and see if it's actually worthwhile. It does nothing. It does nothing. See, so, you know, not a good start, but that's okay. Uh, the ring of Morikai does nothing. Hmm. Not gonna lie, is slightly uh, disappointed by that. What about the staff itself? What do you do? Absorb twenty magicka per second. If the target is out, oh, so it's a it's a drain. It's like a gigantic giga drain. God, if he hit me with that thing, I would have been done. All right. Well, good thing we hit him with the electricity of our own, man. There we go. The labyrinthian is done. I think it's uh, beyond high time we get the hell out of here. Where could the shortcut be? Bit of a swim? No, nope, that's fine. Stormy man, you did a great job. Overall, I dare say I cannot be, uh, I cannot be, you know, disappointed in you at all. So well played. Oh, the mask. Did we even look at the mask? More guy. Do we put on the mask? Magicka regenerates 100% faster and time between shouts is reduced 20%. Now, do we take off our hood for that? Or are we still wearing the hood? Take that off. Yeah. Okay, well, we're not going to look like much of a Khajiit anymore, but... Tell you what, if anything, we're going to... I mean, my Magicka is going to come back incredibly quickly. I don't know why we don't wear this. Uh, yeah, I think we should. It's a shame, again, the other um, clothing of Morikai doesn't really do anything, but the mask itself, I can feel very happy by that. Now, we are trading Maximum Magicka for Magicka Regen, and I think that's a good trade. Because, again, we can get that Magicka back just from naturally leveling up. And uh, speaking of naturally leveling up, I must have leveled up at least uh, twice. So I think we're good. No, just need to figure out the way out. It could be anywhere. Ah, over here. Very good. What else we got here? Dol Blathana. League of Assassins. Throwing knives, huh? Alright. It really is the weirdest uh, shit that you do end up finding in these uh, chests. Dracker, we'll take that. Oh, Eclipse Mage robes. Hang on. New robes. Are they good, though? 
do they do, you know, uh, what ropes am I wearing at the moment? I can even find them. I found the hoods. What the hell are my ropes? Oh, yeah. So what do you do? Nothing. I mean, you do look good, though, but you're not enchanted at all. Maybe we keep you on enchant you. Who knows? They look, they look good, though. Well, so yeah, we'll, we'll keep uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on them. We'll hold on to them. I'm so sorry. I had no choice. It was the only way to make sure that monster never escaped. I promise you, I'll never let this happen again. I'll seal this whole place away. Oh yeah. All right. Well, I'm here, so good job on that. Seal the whole place away, eh? Well, you know what? I think that has earned me an F5. Let's try crash and I have to do all that again. Oh, what a beautiful day. Wonderful. I wonder if that uh, scene out there is, um, you know, gonna match the uh, scenes outside. Because if I go out, hello, if I go outside and it's, you know, raining, then I know I was lied to. Okay, don't like the cut of your jib, like at all. You're fucking ready. I'm ready, man. What are you gonna do? Fight? I know conjuration, buddy. Help you? So you made it out of there alive. Ankana was right. You are dangerous. I'm afraid I'll have to take that staff from you now. Ankana wants it kept safe. Oh, and he wants you dead. Nothing personal. Ah, uh, he's opening up with electricity. If he hits me with that, he's gonna drain the shit out of my magic cup. I've no quarrel with you. I'm afraid you do. Shit. Okay, that went well. <laughs> Thank God we have points in Pyromania. Oh, looks like the Clope and the Thalmor robes might help out with a bit of electricity, eh? This one possibly healing the ring. That's fine, I'm happy with what I have. But, you know, just to double check, we'll see what the, uh, we'll see what the cloak and the ropes do. Ah, it's all naked. Right, let's take a look at that. Yeah, that, that, like, what I'm wearing now is flat out better, that can go. What about the cloak? No. Leave them be. Yeah, good effort, uh, Thalmor, man. Good effort. You ran into me instead of firing off right away, which could have drained me of my magicka. So, you know, well played, sir. Well played. Huzzah! We made it. We made it out. Overall, we can't be uh, too disappointed with how we fared. We did incredibly well. Let's see what kind of weather we're we looking at out here. Did it match the scene back inside? It very much did. Wonderful. Now, cold, of course, is going to be... I like that. You know, uh, probably no way to get up there. Like, it's just a random hatch. But yeah, there's probably... Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're probably going to succumb to the cold. We're going to have to be a bit careful. Although it's nice to see this place during the day. I was really bumbling about, actually, during uh, during nightfall. In fact, actually, this is a beautiful place for a thumbnail, I think. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna take uh, we're gonna take a nice little photograph. That'll do me quite nice. Lovely. Take it all in. Take it all in, people. So, check the map. Now, Whiterun is right down here, and I'm thinking if we can sort of, you know, get through Whiterun without the odd bit of, uh, the odd bit of lag, you know, we could actually go down and talk to the Jarl, because I think that's basically the main way to get Helgen up and running and the dragons up and running, and, you know, the main quest line up and running, so that's something we could do, or I could stick to the original plan and complete the um, College of Winterhold questline in its entirety. 
And that honestly might be the latter, I think. Not sure what these rooms are, but we'll have to check them another th time. I think what we do now is we kind of expedite matters and we just go home. I hope in the future Elder Scrolls, ideally the sixth game, we can have battles like this at a much larger scale. Like imagine uh, coming across, you know, in your travels, a uh, battle, you know, a battle in progress. That would be cool. That would be epic. A little bit cold and a little bit thirsty. We're fine. We got skooma. <laughs> oh dear. I'll tell you what though, we have, uh, while it will make me drunk as all hell, we have mead. So, there we go. Are you Jizargo? Well huh. met, traveler. I am Kaidojo, a monk, making the pilgrimage to the shrine of Azura. Every day I meet a Daedric monk? Then today will be no different than any other. For while I recognize Azura's place in the pantheon of the divines, the Daedra hold no particular favor in the doctrine I follow. Some may see the line between Aedra and Daedra as a means of separation, when the divide itself is the true nature of our existence. It is in the eye of the storm that one finds balance, and with balance comes the flourishing of life. Hmm. Do we, do we just come out all dogmatic and say all danger are evil? Or do we try and uh, have him explain them? I know, man, the smile is kind of looking evil, but explain. I follow the path of balance through opposition. The Aedra and Daedra are the embodiment of this mantra. It is a common misconception that these balancing forces are the spirit of good and evil, a reductive and flawed interpretation. The Aedra are the agents of stasis and order. The Daedra are the essence of change and chaos, for chaos itself cannot be an agent of anything. When the two are in balance, time progresses at its natural flow. The world changes as it stays the same. Although in truth, it is not for us to attach label to the creators. If mortals cannot divine the nature of themselves, it is quite presumptuous to try the same with the gods. Oh man, I need your help. You can be a follower, can you? Huh, how did you come to adopt this? I was trained as a priest of Stendar, but I felt the temple did not do enough to disavow the militants who walk the land in his name. I considered converting to the temple of Julianos and had packed for the great chapel in Skingrad. To begin my training, there was only one item I could not find. My copy of the book, Aedra and Daedra, I scoured every corner of my quarters, until at last I saw it. Oh, and where was that? It was placed on top of a high bookshelf. Now, they say those who hurry only slow themselves in the end. If only I heeded such sage advice. Instead of reaching for the footstool, I attempted to climb the shelf, only to fall flat on my tail. However, as it so happens, I lost my balance but gained my footing. For when my head struck the ground, I had a vision. Yeah, I thought we always landed on our feet. Come on now. We Khajiit are quite adept, but the divine saw fit to change that. When I struck my head on the ground, I lost consciousness, but gained clarity. I saw Aedra and Daedra in the stars, side by side. They made no distinction between themselves, for one were all, and all were one. You gonna stay here? Hmm. One must both have purpose and flexibility. 
he may walk a path of many roads to the same destination. He may not know where the destination lies until the moment he arrives at it, and even then, it may not fulfill his true purpose. I am reminded of the story of a carpenter who was tasked with hanging a painting for the Count. Well, we will definitely have him tell us that, but next time I think we're going to put a cut in here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far, and when we come back, we shall listen to the story and make our report to the college. Hopefully you guys have a good day. I'll see you soon for that. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.